Hello, Mary Meat. So, um, you know one thing that your whole community have a problem with? Arguments. I mean, seriously. I have been part of the occult community since I was 10 years old, and um, I'm a. I have never ever seen any group that has more fun of arguing with one another than us. I mean, and I'm not an angel there myself. I mean, just a few days ago I tore into somebody and um, dig it into my little book of insults. Uh, because of disagreements, and but yeah, we like to argue often about tiny little differences in how we believe magic to be practiced. For example, I watched two Wiccans a while ago. How about it with one another? I mean, they really started to sling the poo. Because um, they were discussing pearls. And one felt it was completely okay to use pearls uh, in magic. Especially natural pearls. Um, and the other one felt that no, no, that is animal parts. And it has been created from suffering. Because the... Um, what are they? their name in English? The shells? Scallops? Is that the name? Scallops? Anyway, the things that pearls come from have... Uh, it, it comes from a wound they have. I mean... And I, I can see both of their points, but... If there isn't really something to argue about. But I mean... That's sort of what I wanted to make a video about. About do we really need to all agree? I mean, it's never gonna happen! Uh, they are more likely to fly a dragon out of my anus than for all occultists in the world to agree on something. And I have not been farting anything even remotely similar to dragon eggs. So, yeah. Uh, so, but do we need to have this desperate need for all to agree? Why is it that we as a society, so many of us, get so aggressive when somebody has different opinions than us? And I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people get aggressive within the cult community when people have different opinions is that then I feel that perhaps I'm wrong. Uh, it stems from uh, being uncertain about your own path. It feels good when people agree with you because then you get confirmation that no, no, I'm doing it the right way. But here I'm saying, what if it isn't one truth out there? What if there's many truths? I mean, magic is a very individual thing. <coughs> and I believe that what works for me might not work for you. I mean, for me, eclecticism has worked perfectly. I know another person where electricism does not work. It has to be exact and it has to be exactly the way the ritual says it. If the ritual calls for a certain herb, don't even try to make something similar. It has to be done that way. For me it's like, oh it says rose? Uh, my rosy perfume? That'll, uh, that'll do the trick. Or, uh, I go on my altar and draw, I draw one. Or ah, tulip, that'll work. And I mean, and it it works for me because I think that magic very much is up to the individual, and I think perhaps we should be more concerned with finding the right path for us than to convince everybody else that we are right. So, I mean, let's take the example of these two Wiccans arguing over pearls. For one of them, clearly pearls worked. She felt that it was great for stone healing, and it also worked very much for circle work and magic. Pearls were a good thing for her, but for the other person, pearls had a very negative energy, 
it was benefiting from these poor animals suffering and it didn't work for her. And perhaps then we'll have to agree, no, you know what? You do you, I do me. The same like there's this enormous discussion is spawned countless arguments about whatever or not when you are releasing a circle you should go with the chance of going against the clock. Some people say no no going against the clock always is about negativity but others say no no it uh, going against it that just is reversing what you did when you cast the circle all is well. I fall into the latter category. But I say find the method that works for you. I mean, it's like, for my mother, initiation within Reiki is so incredibly important. She, it, it doesn't work without that. For me, I've been working with the Reiki system, and I've initiated first. Uh, I will probably go and get an initiation eventually, because I, I'm inter interested, I can't talk today, it seems, to see if it will then work better. And I would really like to take one of those classes because knowledge, yay, but it works for me. And I think that to a certain level, we ha a certain degree, we have to accept that magic is very individual. I know this is easy for me to say as a chaos. I don't believe in ultimate truth. And I think that's, that's one of the problems chaos sometimes have with... Um, discussing with other people because we don't deal in an open truth in a swamp solid reality. And I was discussing with someone who said, no, no, you, either something is true or it is false. I said, no, for me I don't believe that. I believe that uh, <coughs> and when this person here is a Christian, his worldview is true for him. My worldview is true for me and that atheist over there. His worldview is true for him. But if you don't have that, um, that, if you don't work from that paradigm, you work from the paradigm of an ultimate truth, and that can be very difficult. However, even then, I think that a lot of people spend more time trying to convince others that they have the ultimate truth than they do worrying about their own path. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not against discussing things, I'm, I think discussions about uh, occult things is interesting, and for example, I think that it is an interesting discussion. Is pearls a good idea in magic? Does it, does what, that it's effectively speaking a way to deal with a wound affect the energy of a pearl, especially a uh, a uh, grown pearl where somebody comes in, opens up the little clam, clams, though that's the word, and puts a bit of uh, sand in there for it to be uh, to form a pearl. Somebody is cruel to that animal, and so does that create a negative energy within the pearl? I think those kinds of things are very interesting to discuss. But why does it have to end up in arguments? Why is it not possible to at times say, okay, uh, that's your opinion, I have my opinion, let's just work and see who works it's best. Perhaps we're both right, perhaps one of us is right. Because there's so much mm, aggressive that's within the occult community, that desperation to have the ultimate truth. But here's the thing, I don't think there is an ultimate truth. And I don't think that we will ever agree with one another. Because there's so many paths, so many directions, so many ideas that fits into the loose umbrella of occult, that it's not possible for us all to agree on a single way to do it, the best way to do it. And I think that 
the wisest thing to do is just to basically learn, listen to what others have said, and take from that what works for you. For example, I will cleanse pearls for, before I use them, because I feel that there's quite a possibility that there's some negative energy there. But I don't feel that's wrong to use them. I do strongly prefer natural pearls, though, to those that has been grown. And, yeah. I guess that's really what I'm the topic. I'm I guess it's partly inspired by that argument I had a couple of days ago. Uh, the little troll from my um, uh, videos about um, electricism and taking um, elements from other cultures' magic and mixing it into your own is back. And I mean, I tried that originally there. I tried to say, oh well, that's your opinion. I respect your opinion. I don't agree. Which resulted in the person becoming more and more and more aggressive and then started attacking my path. And I see this constantly, not just towards me, but towards everybody. That as soon as somebody doesn't agree, then the insult starts flying. And I'm not saying this doesn't happen outside of the cult, because it definitely do. I mean, you can say, you know what? I like Xbox better than PlayStation, and somebody say, You're a fucking dirty whore! Because, yeah, people are idiots. But there's a lot of ethic in the cult community, and I think it's holding us back. Because I think that we as a community should work together, not against one another. And that the only way to do that is to agree to disagree. To accept that we will not always agree. And that what works for me might not work for you and the other way around. And take from things what works for us. And to have healthy discussions, healthy debate. No problem with a bit of a heated debate. But leaving it at that, we should put that desperation we write aside. And rather learn. I mean, I'll I'll quote the Wiccan Read, I don't usually do that, but, and I know that it doesn't apply for everybody, but I think it, it has one very good section, which is, speak you little, listen much. And I think this applies here, because really what that talks about is, sometimes, shut up and learn. And, yeah, and that also sometimes applies to Sometimes when you have presented your view and you, the other person doesn't agree, accept that you are different in this area and rather see what do you have in common and learn from one another rather than sling insults and try so desperately to make them agree with you. Because magic is a thing of the soul. And just like no painter paints a picture exactly the same way. No mage practices magic exactly the same way. And we all have to find the path and the tools and the methods that works best for us. And that means that sometimes we have to agree to disagree. And just say, you do it things the way I would never do it, in a way that I think it's wrong to do it. But that's okay. We can debate it, and then we move on, and we find what we have in common and learn from one another then. Or even we learn from one another's differences. I mean, I like to go with the shins when I release the circle. I would love to hear the arguments for why I shouldn't do that. I uh, love to hear the arguments that that brings negativity, because in those arguments I can learn. What I have a problem with is when these kinds of discussions always turns into dirt slinging. 
sometimes the greatest teacher is the one that disagrees with you the most. So yeah, that's my uh, point. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Blessed be.